Every portrait photographer needs to know how to create a pure white background. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. What's up everyone, my name is Pete Coco. I am a photographer with a studio in New York and today I'm gonna show you how I create a pure white background in my headshots and portraits. Now before we get started, please gently tap that like button, don't smash it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Now, a lot of photographers struggle with creating a pleasing pure white background in their images. And this is truly something that every good photographer needs to know how to do well. The good news is it's relatively easy to do once you know how. Now there's two basic mistakes that I see photographers make when they are shooting on a white background. The first mistake is they underexpose the background and so you end up with a sort of dirty white background. It's not pure white. And so it looks almost like the background doesn't know if it wants to be gray or white, somewhere in between. The second mistake they make is they overexpose the background. And the problem with this is that although you do get a pure white, you're blowing out the whites and you're also putting your entire subject in flare. So you have a lot of unwanted light that reflects back and affects your subject. So neither of these results are pleasing or good and neither of them look very professional. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid both of those poor results and get a very pleasing pure white background that does not affect your subject. Now you don't need a ton of equipment to do this and to do it well. Although some people take one flash and position it very low to the ground behind the subject and aim it towards the background, I actually prefer to use two flashes, one on each side of the subject. Now the reason I like to do it this way is because then I can use the same setup for not just headshots, but also for half, three quarter, and full length portraits without having to move equipment around. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have a good amount of distance between your subject and the background. But you don't need a huge amount of space either. In my studio, subjects are generally about eight feet from the backdrop. Next, take your strobes and place them in line with your subject angled towards the background. With my Alien Bs, I'm generally setting the power very low, somewhere around 1 16th and also make sure you have the reflectors on the flashes. Now the next step is to take your V-flats and angle them in a sort of diamond shape on both sides, tucked in close to the flashes. The black side of the V-flats should be facing inside where your client is gonna stand. Now that we've got everything set up, the next step is to take some test shots and pay close attention to the RGB levels of our white background. So if you're using Capture One, the RGB levels will appear at the top of the frame just below the cursor tools. You wanna be sure that your RGB levels are under 255, because if they reach or exceed 255, you're gonna be blowing out the highlights and it's gonna to be too bright. Generally, I like to keep my white values between 230 and 240. I do this because I want my clients to see an accurate representation as possible of what the final images will look like. You can definitely dial down your flashes and have a sort of off-white gray background that you make bright white in post, but the problem is that you'll lose the visual impact with your client during their session. Having the client see a sort of dirty background will affect how they see themselves as well in the image. So by keeping my levels somewhere around 230, I'm able to give them an accurate representation of the final result without risking the flare around their hair and faces. All right, well, it's that simple. 
Now, although this process might seem a little complicated or long, once you get in the habit of doing it this way, it's actually super easy and quick. It usually takes me about five minutes to set up my lights and my V-flats, take a few test shots and dial in my settings. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments if this has been helpful to you. And if you try it out, I'd love to see the results. And thanks to all of you who've been subscribing and checking out my videos. I really appreciate the support and it means a lot to me. And I'm looking forward to the next one. All right, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.